Looking to enhance your flight simulator experience? Meet the Flight Simulator Planner for MSFS 2024, your ultimate tool for creating realistic flight plans in just a few clicks. It can also send the plan directly to your avionics in-game. Download our checklists at monkairlines.com, link in the description. Starting off with the map options to the right, you can choose IFR, high, low, or VFR. Then you have options to show airports, nav aids, waypoints, and other good stuff. Let's make the VFR map a lot simpler. On the left-hand side, you can create a flight plan and find important airport information. Let's check out Edinburgh Airport, known as EGPH. Under the Airport Information tab, you'll find key details about any selected airport, including runway layouts, lengths and surfaces, radio frequencies, elevation, and available navigation aids. Under the Runway tab, you'll find detailed information about the airport's runways, including their surface type, dimensions, headings, and current wind conditions. Runway 24 has headwind and is therefore the runway we'll use. The General tab shows you information like the airport name, that it's towered, the longest runway length and the elevation. It also tells you which runway is in use based on wind conditions. Under the Charts tab, you'll find essential charts like approach plates, departure procedures, and airport diagrams. These charts provide detailed navigation and layout information, helping you plan precise approaches, departures, and taxi routes. This is a ground chart. A ground chart provides detailed information about the airport's taxiways, apron areas, and gates. It helps pilots navigate the airport ground operations, ensuring safe and efficient taxiing to and from runways, parking stands, and other key locations. The Procedures tab provides detailed information on standard departure procedures, SIDs, standard arrival procedures, STARS, and approach procedures, IAPs, for an airport. These charts help pilots follow the correct flight paths for departures, arrivals, and approaches, ensuring safety and compliance with air traffic control guidelines. The Weather tab provides real-time weather information for the selected airport, including current wind speed and direction, visibility, temperature, cloud cover, and any active weather alerts. You can also view the altimeter setting, which is crucial for setting your aircraft's altimeter to the correct pressure for accurate altitude readings. Now let's create a simple flight plan. Start by selecting your aircraft. In this example, we'll just use the classic Cessna 172 Skyhawk with the Garmin G1000. You can now choose IFR or VFR. Start by choosing your departure and arrival airports. You can type in the IKO code or simply choose the airport and select it as departure. Then select another airport as destination. You now have a direct line between the airports. Let's customize it further. You can manually input specific waypoints for complete customization of your flight path. But what's easier is just clicking the auto route button, which instantly generates an optimized flight path between your selected origin and destination. It includes waypoints, airways, and the most efficient route for your flight, saving you time while ensuring accuracy and realism. Once your route is set, you can select an approach for your destination airport. This guides you safely to the runway, factoring in terrain, airspace, and weather conditions for a precise and controlled landing. For this flight, we'll choose a left VFR approach for runway 26. This approach keeps the runway on the pilot's left side during the downwind leg, guiding you into position for a smooth visual landing. Perfect for clear weather and straightforward navigation. With the origin, destination, route, and approach set, we now have a simple flight plan ready to go. If you want to enhance your simming experience further, go to the Flight Details tab. Here, you can input important details like your flight number, ATC call sign, departure date, and other specifics. In the Fuel and Payload tab, you can manage critical flight parameters like fuel quantity, passenger and cargo weight, and overall aircraft weight distribution. This ensures your aircraft is properly balanced and ready for the journey ahead. In the Briefing tab, you'll find a detailed summary of your flight plan, including route information, departure and arrival details, weather conditions, and fuel requirements. It also lists your route waypoints, which you can manually input into the G1000 if preferred. The Options tab allows you to customize various settings for your flight plan, such as units of measurement, nautical miles versus kilometers, feet versus meters, fuel in gallons or liters, and other preferences. At last, the kneeboard shows the chart specific to your flight. 
It's a handy way to access critical information like approach plates, departure procedures, and taxi diagrams all in one place, helping you stay organized and informed throughout your flight. Now remember to save your flight plan on the button below. Let's call this one Simple Flight VFR. Hit Save New Plan, and then it's ready to load up in the simulator. When you have launched MSFS 2024, you can already load in your flight plan through your EFB before starting the flight. But what I like to do is to select a parking spot on our Origin Airport and then load it in through our aircraft. Now, if I wanted to be ultra realistic, I could enter the flight plan through the flight plan creation in the G1000. I do that sometimes, but now I just wanna quickly load in our saved flight plan. It's simple. Just click on Route on the EFB and load it in. Here it is. File the plan to the ATC and send the route to the avionics. It's now ready on our MFD on the G1000. And that's it. With everything from flight planning to detailed charts and personalized settings, you're all set for an immersive and realistic flight simulation experience.